Hello and welcome. This is our Six Moves Presents, uh, Game of Thrones Genesis. Uh, this is a game I bought on Steam a couple of weeks ago. Um, I've played through it before on hard and have passed the campaigning mode. Um, so we'll just be doing a bit of a, a how-to, I suppose, series. Quite like the Orcs Must Die, if, you've, if you guys have watched that one, it'll be sort of similar. Uh, I don't know if I will do all, the camp all of the campaigns again. Uh, it depends on what sort of feedback I get and if there's any sort of um, requests, uh, you know, to do specific missions. So these are all the different missions up here. Um, each of them is sort of from a different uh, age. Uh, the game spans back uh, a thousand years or so, uh, or seven, there you go, year 700, um, when the Valerians first come to, sorry, the uh, Targaryens first come to uh, Dawn, and so you follow Nymeria uh, in conquering Dawn. Uh, so anyway, I'll jump into the, the first uh, mission, which is Beginnings of Diplomacy, got it setting on hard and uh, we'll just play through this chapter. Uh, yeah, so this is kind of a different sort of strategy game if you're expecting your sort of usual, um, you know, total war or civilization game. It's a little bit different. Um, the reason why I said those two is because I think it's sort of a more of a merge of those two uh, than anything. So yeah, you'll see, I'll, I'll explain the mechanics uh, once the game loads. But um, yeah, if you're a Game of Thrones fan or you know a song of ice and fire it's definitely worth a look um, I'm, I know it's, it's only $30 or $35 or something like that um, the campaign took me about 20 to 25 hours to, to complete on hard so it wasn't too bad but it was kind of over before I knew it uh, kind of thing uh, you know there is the multiplayer and, and skirmishes for the replay value which is something I haven't uh, really done too much, and that's mostly because uh, Orc, Orcs Must Die came out, so I went and played that and did the series of that. Um, but anyway, it's this isn't a bad game, it's it's a bit different, and some people don't like that about the game, but I think it's kind of interesting. Um, yeah, just how that you still got um, different units that you can use, obviously, but each one has sort of a different tiering, um, but you've got peacetime and wartime, and not all of them uh, building armies or attacking units, um, you build more sort of um, diplomatic units um, and noble wives and rogues and assassins and, and stuff like that. So we'll jump into this and uh, yeah, we'll just uh, address things as we get to it. My envoy, I've been so this is the first you. mission. I'm going to skip through. I need through. you to visit the nearest um, towns. We need allies. A lot of the, a lot of the text. I am counting on you. We must. Yes, my queen. So you basically get these uh, envoys. I'm we not must impose sure ourselves how you're supposed to pronounce that, but um, means. anyway, they're kind of like your first yeah, as you sort wish. of grunt unit. And what you got to do as is go to wish. these towns. Uh, see how it's got the the scroll there on the screen. You right click and tell them to visit that. Oh, this is the first one actually. Tell them to right click and visit that. Because uh, if you look down on the mini map here. This coloured one, this is my town, my ally. It's my main castle. And basically these, these greyed out ones are sort of neutral, these little towns here. Um, we have one more and then this ally. one here is the enemy castle. And as you go on, you have to, the more allies you have, the more resources you generate. And how you bring them on your side. When an alliance is established with yeah, a town explain or it a here. gold mine, trade begins automatically. A merchant will travel between. Yep, that's nice. So that's a little merchant guy. So he will he'll run back and forth um, between this town and back home, and uh, he'll generate uh, some revenue. So up here you can see that's how much revenue per minute I will gain, and that's how much um, gold I have at the moment. And the other resource is food, which we have is um, gathered by the farmers. So anyway, you can open up your castle here, um, and this is typically where you can normally build units, but because this is the first mission. It's not going to let me do that. Um, so at the moment, I just have to send my little envoy future from town to town, trying to convince them to come onto my side. Uh, so that's what this little I'll zoom in. This little yellow bar here is. So if I go look at this one, he's got nothing. He's neutral. As soon as my envoy gets there to do some, you know, negotiations, you can see that green bar is filling up, and that means he's coming onto my side. Um, so it's just. 
Yeah. Future ally. Alas, I will not be able to complete this task alone. There you go, it so will... I'm gonna get a friend now. What is it you want? Um so in the main castle, the build tab and build more envoys. Go and build one um unit at a time. So if you're building farmers or assassins or rogues or mercenaries or armies, everything only builds one at a time. At your command. So I've got a second one going on, so I'll send him future ally. to uh, here we go, send him to ally. that town. We have one more ally. Yes. So as soon as they hit it, uh, they become onto your side, but then this is just strengthening the alliance. A future ally. We have one more ally. So, so at this moment it's a little bit tedious, but they'll start introducing uh, more units as you carry on. But you can zoom in and stuff, and I mean the graphics are alright, they're not too ally. bad. Um, you know, it's not the, the best graphics uh, around, Understood. but you know, they get the job done. Uh, so, can't really complain. Now see that bar, that means uh, that how that's gone up, and that's now full as a red bar. That means that the enemies sent their in, uh, envoy over there, a future ally. and um, I'm listening. that town a will be on their ally. side. But this is the uh, fog of war, like you get with most strategy games or RTS games. So I can't actually see what's happening in this area until I have a unit there. So you can see it's just spreading the fog of war, and um, the local lords have not taken long to react, and they are sending out their envoys to win back their allies. Ah, so they must just... be prevented from breaking our alliances. So that's... Oh, each has got there. Okay. So I'll just explain what happened there. Yeah. Is, um, As you if wish. you try and send an envoy to a place that is I shall undermine their alliance. captured already, um, or is under the alliance of I shall um, the alliance opposition, you your envoy will get sent back. See, there's no envoy here, so I can send mine in. And he will start countering their alliance. See, and that red bar will go down. Once it goes all the way back there, they'll be neutral, and then they'll start coming on my side. So it's a bit like capture the flag um, of each town. Now, because my envoy got snapped out by this one, he has to travel back to my home, and then I can start using him again. But um, I'll start building a couple more envoys now, because this guy will be free to start going to my towns and trying to. Um, you know, convert my towns over to his side. So as you can see here, he's taking down my green. If, if I let that go all the way, um, then it'll become neutral yes. and end up into his hands. Ready. Straight away. So one way to stop that is to send one of my own envoys alive. there while it's under my care, and his envoy will get the little exclamation mark and be forced to go back. So i just got to keep an eye on um, where this envoy's going. We have one more ally. Okay, one more ally, so that means this Ready. one's done. Okay, and you can go capture that. See, I can mind. see the red dots on the mini map, so they're taking over both of these places, um, which is not good. What is it you want? I'm coming. A future ally. And I'll get this envoy. Ready. Oh, there I we shall go. expel him. Ready. So I don't know if I'll get this envoy Why here in time. So he's a little bit slow. Should have been a little bit quicker to do that. I'm listening. And it's just this constant battle that just always goes on and on. So here's another one of that envoys in my territory. So the, the, later on in the game, there's other ways to deal with them. You can just kill them, um, but I don't have any attacking units at this point. Yeah. We have See, lost I was too ally. slow, so I lost my. Um, see this one here. This is now part of, is it um, part of their alliance now, I suppose. Uh, let's see, how's this guy going? He's doing all right. So hopefully this Actual envoy can get on. here first and send his one home. So when you first play this game, it is really, really, really confusing. Um, I'm probably not happy with how I'm explaining it. Okay, go mission checkpoint. Unfortunately, we shall have to use force. Yeah, you can't actually save this game, Our you just get checkpoints. So, um, you must hire mercenaries yeah, to it's a little bit that's different, but something you can just um, live with. So now they're introducing mercenary units, which are kind of your first attacking units. 
So that's on this tab. There's three tabs by units. So this is kind of your normal one more peacetime kind of units. And these are your mercenaries, which are like your attacking units. And these are your armies, which are like even better attacking units. So you can get um, men at arms, and you can get bowmen, and you can get knights. And on different missions, there's guardsmen as well, as well as assassins. And these top three and the guardsmen are kind of like rock, paper, scissors against, you know, who's good against what. Ready. Victory will be um, and your units do Ready. Uh, sort of level up. I shall make them change yeah. their and get more experience um, change as they kill things. So you guys are duking it out, but as soon as uh, my archers here finish, I'll get them to help, and then it should become a, a victory from my side. So these little dots here are their health. Um, yeah, so that's, that's their health there, and that's now going down. I'm still building my army, so this is the kind of the macro aspect of the game. And up here, this is where you can do quick select. Travel has become too dangerous for envoys. You will have to hire a spy in order to be able to continue diplomatic actions. Okay, so now they've just introduced uh, spies into the game. And yes. what they do now is to send all my forces kind of out here to the front line. Yes, as you wish. What is it you want? Understood. So spies are kind of like, um, I can't afford any at the moment. Here we go. So they can detect invisible units. Um, so there's units such as assassins, which uh, you know can turn invisible and then sneak up and kill your units. So a spy lets you detect them. The other thing the spies can do is, um, the particular unit, the rogue, which I don't have yet, um, can buy off other units and make that a unit a, um, a turn cloak. So At your command. the rogue yes, makes one course. of your units a turn cloak or work for the enemy's uh, side. The and if you have a spy, you can do an inspection on that unit and see whether or not he's a he's a traitor. I'm on my way. Um, and the other reason why um, you need the spy is At they can command. do the same for towns um, because. A spy can go to a enemy town, like one of these grey ones, and create like a false alliance. Um, that the to the enemy it will still look like that that town is their alliance, but really they're working for me. And you use a spy to snuff out those areas. So he's just doing a check here, and it's almost complete. And then, I'm listening oh, well, he, he didn't tell wish. me, but he should have told me. Oh, you know, everything's fine here. So if I go to this, um, will prove useful to us. if I go to this town and right-click using the spy, you'll try and establish a, um, you know, a secret agreement, which is this blue thing here. And but the thing is, is the enemy can do that to you as well. So some of these places I have here, they look you like they're mine, secret but they may not actually Ready. be mine because a spy might have come up and made a secret agreement. Very well. Okay, oh, that's that red dot. Yes. That's kind of what my units yes. up here at the front to create sort of like a forefront yes. chokehold. Um, so part of my mission is yes. to create secret agreements. I'll keep using the spy. It's probably good to have um, a minimum two, maybe three spies on whatever level you're playing because um, they're quite handy to have by your um, armies to create like a, a bigger field of vision and not to let any assassins walk by as well as being able to run around and systematically keep checking your uh, towns we made a to make sure that they're still understood. you know um, friends with you and not with the enemy will be kept a secret. so I've done a couple of these I've got my what second spy up there I'm coming Ready. So he's almost we have made just made another one. Uh, and I think this is the last this town that I can do secret. something on. So yeah, so these... Oh, is he under attack, is he? Oh no, I'm attacking their, um, their envoy. So wherever you place units, they'll just automatically attack. Narches are pretty good. Um, for that. Oh, see there's an envoy there, so... Yes. My spy um, got turned back. 
But these are the merchant units of the enemies, and you can, um, you know, kill them. We will eliminate that target. And that will just slow down your enemy's uh, income rate. Uh, I'm not sure if I can kill the envoys if they're what in a town. Um, unless way. you have an assassin. Ready, of course. Straight away. Our, our enemy has uncovered, has uncovered one of our secret agreements. Kill his spy. Oh, okay, so I've got to go kill that spy. Yes, I'm coming. I'm coming. <laughs> Very well. Yes. Our we secret agreement has been uncovered. I'm coming. The other uh, invisible kind of units is the spy as well, um, but they'll only be invisible for a certain amount of time, and any time they do activity, um, they become visible again. So this is the spy here. I'll build another uh, bowman. Bowmen are good for posting at places just to kill uh, envoys and spies and such that are, that are running past. This alliance will be kept a secret. No more enemy mercenaries to harass us. No ill. more enemy spies to meddle in our affairs. Oh, Nymeria is happy. All the conditions required. And uh, that's the victory for the first first one. Um, so it's just a, a very brief introduction into the envoys, spies, and mercenary units. Um, they become your sort of your starting units. The game gets a lot more complex from here, and it's kind of like a giant paper scissors rock. Uh, so anyway, thanks for uh, watching and uh, staying tuned and um, hopefully you guys will check out the upcoming episodes of Game of Thrones Genesis.